Good morrow, fruit lovers. It is I, Grapefruit. And I, Little Apple. We're taking over today's episode to show you how to get a cool car. Obviously, they invited you to host because you're the expert in cars. And they invited me because I'm the expert in cool. Yeah, whatever you say, Grapefruit. Let's begin by painting the scene. There you are on the car lot. There I am. You found your absolute dream car. Yep. But the sticker price is way too high! Sure, but what doesn't seem too high to you? <laughs> but not to worry, my diminutive friend. If you follow these simple steps, we'll have you cruising off the car lot in no time. Can't wait! Step one, butter up the car salesman a bit. Good call! What do you think? Maybe compliment his haircut? Tell him you like his tie? Did you listen to a word I said? I said butter him up! Ow! That's it. Get him good and greased up. If he likes it, that's good. He'll probably give you the car cheap. Um, what if he doesn't like it? If he doesn't like it, add more butter. Soon he'll be too slippery to stop you from driving away in the car of your dreams. There you go. Drive safe, little buddy. Um, Grapefruit, I think I'd rather pay for the car before I drive away in it. <sighs> I see. You're one of those people. Okay, fine. Step two, play hardball. Yeah, that's it. I'll play hardball. Haggle the price down a bit. Point out anything that might be wrong with the car? Whoa, 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 please stop. Just to stop. I know you don't have ears, but listen. You need to play hardball. Um, Grapefruit, why do we have bats? Go on, tell the salesman you're a Major League Baseball player. He'll probably knock a few bucks off the price if he thinks you're famous. Oh, okay, that's better. For a second, I thought you were going to suggest we use the bats to intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. You're way too small to intimidate anyone. <laughs> Of course, there's a chance the salesman isn't into baseball. In that case, it's time for step three. Turn on the waterworks. That's brilliant. I'll start crying and give him a sob story about how I really need the car for cheap and Little I Apple, <laughs> would you listen to the words I am saying to you? I said turn on the waterworks. I, I guess I, I don't know what that is. The knob, turn it on. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Great work. See all that water damage? The price is falling so fast it's gonna need a parachute. <laughs> uh, Grapefruit, this isn't working for me. Don't worry about it. I have like 50 more steps we can try if this doesn't work. No, I mean, I'm not trying to trick anybody into getting my dream car. I want to earn my dream car, fair and square. I don't understand. Yeah, see you around. I'm gonna go do some chores and start saving up my money. Like that'll ever work. Hey, you, you're gonna have to pay for the damage you did to this car. <laughs> Me? Sorry, sorry, I promise I had nothing to do with it. Do me a favor and turn off the waterworks, pal. Sir, these stands are genuine. I'm not faking. No, I really mean it. You gotta turn off the waterworks now. Huh? Ah! No!